Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. We're going to talk about another interesting topic today. Um, I get questions about all the time, and it's what do bed bug bites look like? You know, how do I know that the bite that I have on my arm is a bed bug and not a mosquito or a gnat or whatever other thing that could possibly be biting you? And unfortunately, it's not a very straightforward answer. Um, you know, bed bug bites appear on people in different ways depending on the person. Um, there are a few things we can say about them, and, and, and they're just guidelines. They're not any definitive answers. And one thing that we can tell you is that bed bug bites tend to show up in rows and clusters. And so what that means is if you're seeing, you know, and it, it's weird, you'll notice if, if you have them and you do see this, you'll be like, wow, yeah, I definitely noticed that. They tend to show up sometimes even in straight lines, other types of row configurations, maybe in clusters of five, clusters of three, whatever the case may be. And the reason why that happens is because the bed bugs come to you at night and feed. And so, you know, you're sleeping in your bed, the bed bug walks up the comforter, is standing on the edge of the comforter, and he starts to feed. And then what you do naturally in your sleep is you twitch a little bit, and it stops feeding, moves down a little bit, and starts feeding again. And that might take place three or four times, but then what appears the next morning sometimes is a row of four bites, or a cluster of four bites. And that's why it happens, is that bug is starting and stopping feeding throughout the process. It usually takes about five to ten minutes for a bug to get a full blood meal. So that's why that appears. And that's one thing we can say, is that bed bug bites tend to show up in rows and clusters. They also tend to be on exposed skin surfaces. And what that means is, imagine yourself sleeping at night. God knows I would love to be sleeping in my bed right now. And what you do when you sleep in your bed at night is you pull the comforter up maybe about chest level. I think that's what typically people do. And so, if you're sleeping at night and your comforter is at chest level, the exposed skin surfaces are your arms, your neck, your face, maybe the top of your shoulders, maybe the top of your back. That's what's exposed to the air, and that's where bed bugs are typically going to bite. Um, and so those are the things you're going to watch for, rows and clusters and exposed skin surfaces. You know, if you sleep deep under the covers every night, and then once every, you know, maybe couple days, you're getting one bite along your waistline, which is underneath the covers, you know, I'm not saying it's not something to look into, that's not what I'm saying, but that's not a typical scenario when it comes to bed bugs. As opposed to someone who every two days is waking up with two different clusters of bites on their arms or shoulders, and it tends to be in the morning, that's something you might want to be a little concerned about. You might want to get a, a, a knowledgeable expert or knowledgeable pest professional out there to evaluate the situation. Now the other thing we can say, and this is where things definitely get foggy, is that not everybody reacts the same to bed bugs. You know, these are all things that I've talked about where if you are reacting, but what if you're not? And unfortunately, there are a lot of people out there that don't react to bed bug bites. There's some recently uh, reported data coming out of the UK, it's unpublished, that they did a study where they subjected people to bed bug bites that haven't been bitten before. And they showed that all of the participants in the study did not react to the bed bug bites within the first, we'll say, about 24 hours. Initially, did not react to any of the bed bug bites. Now, that's pretty scary if you think about it. The first time they were bitten, they didn't react at all within the first, you know, day or so. Pretty crazy. And only half of those people reacted in the first 7 to 11 days. Eventually, those bites showed up. And unfortunately, the other half of people never reacted. So if you think about that, that's, it's a pretty you know, wild variation of reactions. But what we can say is that over time, as you're exposed to more and more bites, you know, that infestation unfortunately is in your house and it's growing and you're getting exposed to more and more bites, that delayed reaction tends to get diminished. And then the bites start showing up every morning and you're like, okay, something's going on here. So that just, that just goes to show you, and all, all I want that to say is that everybody reacts differently. Just because one person reacts one way, you can't say that this person is going to react this way. That's not necessarily the case. So, in review, bed bug bites, rows and clusters, exposed skin surfaces tend to show up in the morning, but in the end, not everybody reacts the same. And hopefully that information helps you guys understand a little bit about bed bug bites. Please email me your questions, your topics, your comments, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. And hopefully we'll have a lot more topics to talk about real soon. I will talk to you guys soon. Fine. Do it.
Actually, 